G'day folks, welcome to another Loki Reacts to Rob React video. Today we are continuing the Aussie meme series, so we'll see how Rob fares today. Now while regular visitors know me for my gaming content, uh, this is something a little different I've been trying. If you are enjoying this variation of content, please let me know in the comments or if you have any other questions or suggestions. Ah, see, see, this annoys me, okay? I think this is unfair to say non-Aussies. Now, as I said, Vegemite and Marmite, both gross, by the way, all right, I'll remind you again, both disgusting, um, but Vegemite, Marmite, basically the same. Now, over in England, we know how to spread. We know how to spread Marmite. It's a very thin layer, okay? It's the Americans that come over, all right, and they get some, and they put, a, you know, they dunk a whole bloody spoon and try and eat a mouthful of it. Don't don't put us us English in that bracket. It, it's it's the it's the Yanks that don't know what they're talking about. And... Okay, like fair enough, Rob. I will, you know, I can say that you know the UK they probably know what they're doing, and yes, unfortunately, there are uh, way too many examples. Uh, on, on YouTube of Americans just eating Vegemite. Wrong. Just wrong. Funnily enough, though, um, a few years ago, I had the opportunity to go and live and work in Ghana, which is in West Africa. And like a, a dutiful Aussie, I took my Vegemite with me and it, you know, everyone was very curious about this little jar that I had. And so they all wanted, you know, my Ghanaian friends wanted to try it. And, uh, you know, they they put the knife in the jar and come out with this huge blob. And I'm like, no, 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 that's not how you do it. So I had to, you know, be very careful in guiding them how to, <laughs> to introduce them to Vegemite. But, you know, look, unfortunately, it didn't prove popular. It's definitely an Aussie thing. Um, and that's okay. They didn't like it. It was all the more Vegemite for me. When your mum buys Aldi brand Tim Tams instead of the original. My parents tortured me as a child. <laughs> Tim Tams are an Australian icon, let's face it. And no one should settle for anything less but the original. <laughs> Only in Australia. Appropriate footwear must be worn while on the premises. That's okay. That's okay. Minimum requirement thongs. <laughs> now, I I find that funny because I don't... Thongs over here, and this is the thing, right? This is the thing. I'm looking at this in a different way, I reckon, because thongs over here is is underwear, as in what a woman would wear, you know, a thong showing up the bum. Now, I'm pretty sure over in Australia, you call flip-flops thongs because it's like a thong going up yeah now that's i think that's funnier for me i think it'd be funny for you because it says minimum requirement flip-flops so that means you could be naked for me it's just imagining someone walking around with a thong on and that's it i i can remember the first time i heard that everywhere else called thongs flip-flops and i'm like I, I couldn't wrap my head around it. They're thongs, you know. And and then you find out that what thongs, what the rest of the world, it seems, think thongs are. And, you know, hilarity does ensue. Um, just, you know, to set the record straight, uh, in Australia, thongs are a type of footwear and what everyone else calls songs we call a g-string so hope we've got the record straight now but yes it's uh anytime that sort of comes up i i do have a bit of a giggle about it magpie season <laughs> in this series of hundred how many magpie uh memes are we gonna have 
as Rob has quickly learnt, um, magpies are definitely um, fall into the category of being a dangerous creature. While Australia is best known for having, you know, like the deadliest, the most venomous uh, animals, you know, everything's trying to kill you kind of country. Um, when people hear that, you know, we're afraid of magpies, it, that it just, you know, it's something that does not compute to, to people outside of Australia. Now, I'm fortunate enough, I've lived in Victoria my whole life, um, both in Melbourne and in regional areas, and I've never actually had a um, serious magpie encounter, but I'm always very wary of them because I know, like, they're just ninjas with wings and um, there is no way on God's green earth that I want to tangle with a magpie. <laughs> That's all I've got for you today, folks. So thanks for watching. Stay slinky and I'll see you in the next video.